This print of a innocent bear France With the flow like a river I said the blood of a innocent bear France With the massacre with the flow like a red sea Split of a innocent bear France With the massacre with the rise like a big star Rise up, rise up Spiritually and the physical Rise up, upon anybody With the again, this my freedom oh. Rise up, one and body, we day again, this Piafra, our father who was in heaven, no. we say hello be thy name, oh. we the wait for your kingdom to come, oh. right here on earth at this in heaven, oh. we say promise, you promise your children, promise, you promise your people, oh. we say promise, you promise the Piafra. Yes, it's a magamation, we see the so far They start to kill us, it's 1945 Till the two day, they are not satisfied yeah. hey. We're like a stranger in the land of scavengers Then they kill us, then they eat us So they make what of on us, and our was in it us Don't turn against us, they want to stop us But they cannot stop us, oh. Biafra is unstoppable, unstoppable Because he cried on the too much, yo. Because he suffered on the too much, yo. In a nation, yo. Because he killing on the too much, yo. Because he suffered on the too much, yo. Because he cried on the too much, yo. In a nation, my brother rise up, yeah let's march in Into the promised land, our paradise I am that I am, says the Lord He's a mighty man in battle Whenever he say yes, nobody can say no I say nobody can battle with the Lord no. Papa Kono Zubo All the stealing them are killing their friends In Nigeria Kono Zubo A million million so they want to kill before they go leave us as in Biafra A million million so They want to kill before we not go see us as a nation Me they ask United Nation Me they ask European Union And my nation Tropical mix in a nation, because he killing on the too much, yo. Because he suffered on the too much, yo. Because he cried on the too much, yo. In a nation, my brother rise up, yeah let's march in Into the promised land, our paradise I am that I am, says the Lord He's a mighty man in battle Whenever he say yes, nobody can say no I say nobody can battle with the Lord no. Papa Kuo, no Zubo All the stealing them are killing their friends In Nigeria, Kuo, no Zubo A million million so they want to kill before they go leave us as in Biafra A mini million so They don't want to kill before we not go see us as a nation Me they ask United Nation Me they ask European Union Me they ask European Union Me they ask European Union Yes of course we must continue our people must understand. Ndiro kanko 
the enemies are in different form, shape, and guise. That having been said, we continue from where we stop. I can fully tell you that the owner of Facebook is not the person disturbing me. It is not Janja Weed or Yoruba. It is supposedly a fellow Biafran looking for freedom. But the point is that we can't be watching you humiliate everybody, collect your own percentage on the expense of our blood, and then you, you come among us. No, it's not in your place to do that. And of course, without wasting much of our time, we know what is going on. The truth will continue coming out. Our people will know the truth because they have the right. Our duty is to make sure nobody, no bagger, sell the next generation of Biafra. We're looking for connecting security challenges in the Nigerian state and the need for everybody inside the zoo, according to Nandekano, call Nigeria, to stand up to the challenges ahead. To be ready for what is to come. It is a continuation of the same broadcast. And of course, this remain Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station, the child of circumstance, being anchored by Diopa Uchuka for Mefo, the man who assured us he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And I remain George Onibe. I was trying to explain to Ross how terrorism started in Nigeria. I knew the game they always play. But then we have gotten in terms with their nonchalant behavior. We are used to their mode of operando. Mm -mm, nonsense. How did he come into our land? I, I remember the stop somewhere where I said the political or the colonial master had a policy. A policy that enables them, encourages them to impoverish the owners of gas and oil within any location, not just in Africa, but globally. This is to economically as, uh, 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 emasculate them, and so they cannot have the power to fight back. And that is why those regions in Nigeria where you have oil, Shell, SPDC, as the case may be, Chevron, Enzo Mobil, Tuta, and the rest of them, the area where they strive and make billions of dollars, that makes your city tied with gold and diamond a shack swamp. We understand that. The people of the Niger Delta make the move and say we need portable drinking water. We need electricity. We need tide road. We need medical facility. We need home, hospitals. These are not skyrocketed technology that we have to consult God to be able to achieve it. These are achievable by every local individual. Let us be. Criminals. They give them money. After they finish giving them money to cool them down. Yara Dua died in office. Good luck Ibiri Jonathan from Niger Delta took over the leadership of Nigeria. And then they said, we will teach you a lesson. They initiated Boko Haram. What is Boko Haram fighting for? You now have Miati Allah. You now have Lamido, Samisi Lamido. You now have different terrorist groups everywhere. You now begin to pay them money. Uh, uh, he said this one, Nigeria. Everybody, unknown government, you will pay all of them. Get ready because you have not seen Biafra Haram. This is how it came about. The Nigerian state should begin to plan for referendum. They should begin to plan for constitutional adjustment or amendment, as the case may be. And everybody must get ready. This war will get to your doorstep. You keep police, you carry gun. Hey, you are rejoicing. We now know the amount they sell AK-47. And everybody wants the money. We will know who is deceiving who at the end of the day. Nigeria cannot be safe for us except we decide to do the right thing. One of our grievances with Nandekano is that he knows this truth. But he's playing smart. He wants to collect his money. He's there for a revenge game, but we are waiting for him. Come on, revenge. 
Revenge go so. Revenge big you. Revenge everybody you. You people stop deceiving yourself. We keep shouting. We keep calling on Biafrans. Indigenous nation. Biafran people. We say come and join Biafran nation. Not because of your monthly due. Not because we want to rip you off. Because a day will come. You will need somewhere to fall back to. Are you ready? Are you ready? And of course, our time is fast spent. I will leave our land open. And I encourage those of you in Biafra land to get ready and don't let anybody sell you. They are deceiving you now. Most of you are there. Oh, you are looking for sabotage. Arsenal the canoe, where are the people who started this journey with him? Where is his or God was leaky? Ask him the canoe. He can come and yamp and then ginger and swagger just to make it look like he's fighting for you. He has abandoned Biafra already. He's even trying to make sure Biafra become Ibu affair. We are here to help him. Biafra is not Ibu affair. Biafra is Iduma. Biafra is Biafra. Biafra is a gala. Biafra is all of us. That is why we came out here. So if you know they cannot think he can reduce Biafra to Ibu, he's joking. I don't expect you people to understand. All of you be fooling yourself. Hey, he gonna fight for Ibu nation. My brother, use your tongue, count your TT. Now see all of us balance. Some idiot come out and say, see, delivered and documented. No be there with they now. Oh, they kill the consul. Did they not kill Biggie? Oh, the Kili Konsor, did you not give Akwara to them? All of them are from Imo State. And there is a man I respect so much. I am with him in different forum. And I see the way he yap. I don't want to talk to him yet. He's from Imo State. The day I will talk to him, I will disgrace him. I will disgrace him. And so you people thought we come here to do or shall be. God forbid. So the Nigerian state must understand there is no two ways about it. They have initiated a process that will lead to anarchy. A total state of lawlessness. They cannot help it. Some of you are initiating process you cannot control in the nearest future. But you won't understand. Kill all the police. Kill all the army. Terrorize Biafra land. I'm not in diaspora. We are here. The way you are taking record of us, we are taking record of you in the era, mad people. Can the value of money be that more interested, more valuable than the life of our people? I will have to stop here. We'll continue from where we stop. Agitation everywhere, lamenting everywhere, complain everywhere, crying everywhere. And somewhere along the line, you think you will bamboozle this generation. You people don't know what is coming. We only ask all of you, stakeholders, religious leaders, opinion molders, politicians, terrorists, and all of you. Our <laughs> lines are open. The WhatsApp line is 070 815 is our WhatsApp line. Our direct line is 081221-52971. 081221-52971. And if you cannot assess any of this line, I'll encourage you to reach me through my private WhatsApp or Messenger. Don't let anybody deceive you. The lines are open. After some munis, Nobody can assess the line. I will round up. I will continue from where we stop. Once in Nana Hiko, Yawana Hiko. O menu one once in Nana Hiko, Yawana Hiko. Like I said, our lines are open and you have to call in. The issue of insecurity, it is being heightened in the Nigerian state. And I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. You must be ready 
for what is about to come. The lines are open and you are free to call in. Calling me, except you are a janja weed, don't call me on video. Of course, if you know you call me on video, I will not pick your call. Except you are a janja weed, only janja weed does that. There are heightened situations, there are challenges of insecurity in our land. Some of you will think you have monopoly over it. Some of you are deceiving yourself from across Nigeria. But the people are waking up already. The people are knowing the truth already. The people will respond very soon. And all of us will bear the brunt. All of us will feel the pain. All of us will know the truth. As we have known it already. And I tell you, there is nothing you could do about it. That is why when we sit back, we analyze our position, our situation, our circumstance, our predicament in the Nigerian state, 
and those who think they have monopoly over these things, what do we do? We watch. What do we do? We observe. What do we do? We look. Because in the end, the truth cannot be overemphasized. Like I said, our lines are open. You are free to make your call. of course we must continue i i am joined at this moment by the director of uh, biafra nation the head of uh, communication for biafra de facto government and as well as my leader it's no other person than diopa uchi uka for me for He's on the line already. I have to move ahead and bring him in. Can you hear me, please, sir? Yeah, good evening from here. Good evening, uh, sir. I remain loyal. Uh, and you are also our leader for avoidance of doubt. Uh, good evening, Biafrans, men and women of goodwill from around the world. Um, my name is Richard Mefor. I just want to say one or two things. First of all, uh, Biafra land is in darkness and the spirit of Biafra is bleeding. I want to use this opportunity to enjoin everyone to uh, extend the condolences to our able young Biafran men whose lives are being snuffed out of them, out of uh, avoidable, orchestrated violence and carnage being unleashed on Biafra land and our people. We have said a lot of things in the past and we will continue to say it. the land of biafra must exist in peace the land of biafra must be in peace the people of biafra must be together there are responsibilities from across official waters down to the lowest level in our society and with this i make special reference to the government officials in biafra they have enormous responsibility on their shoulder to protect lives and property the primary aim of or objective of every government among others is to protect lives and property 
And therefore, if there is any breakdown of law and order, those officials have to bear the plan. And we, at this particular point in time, keep every lapses in their father and as we speak on the doorsteps of the governors and the house of assembly members and other government officials in their family. They have to take their responsibilities seriously because if they don't and people's lives are endangered as a result of those lapses, then what they are inviting in essence is direct anarchy and chaos in this society. They have to be seen to have done what they should be doing so that if they are not effective enough, people would have bear witness to them or to those efforts that they have made. We repeat and we continue to state that any society where arms and weapons of warfare are left in the control of non-state actors, and more importantly, unregulated ones, that society is doomed to failure. And on we want time with our numbers that this kind of thing is going to happen if the elected representatives in Biafra land do not take their responsibility seriously. As we speak today, there is anarchy, there is chaos, there is obvious avoidable implosion in Biafra land. And it is the responsibility of every right-thinking human being, every man and woman of goodwill to stand up and be counted. Our communities, our neighborhoods must be protected from the invasion of the enemies. And it is also very important that we, the people of Biafra, should know that we are in a precarious situation, that the Nigerian state does not like us and more especially the Fulanis who are controlling the political uh, firmament of Nigeria. And therefore it is, and we continue to amount to recklessness, we amount to, continue to amount to uh, carelessness on the part of any one of us who we deliberately turn our land into a theater of war. If we are fighting our enemies, we must take the war to their doorsteps, not opening our back doors to them not turning our land, the land of Biafra, into battleground. That is a responsibility too far and too many. And so we enjoin every Biafra, men, women, and children, of course, very uh, politically conscious ones or sections of society to be very, very careful because what is going on now is something that if care is not taken, we consume all of us. We do not want Biafra land to be like northern part of Nigeria. We do not want Biafra land to be like Libya. We do not want Biafra land to be like other failed states around the world. There are some unscrupulous individuals in Biafra land as we speak, who for their political and selfish reasons want to turn Biafra land into gun running society. We will not allow that to happen. And we shall continue to speak up. And we shall continue to oppose anybody, any individual or group who are 
destroying that path. That is not who we are. For the first time in the history of our people, we are seeing those who claim to be protecting our land, protecting property, protecting their funds, turning their weapons against their own people, either consciously or unconsciously. Bazinam de Kanu, in this regard, must indeed re examine himself. His own guarded utterances, his recklessness has been responsible for the many and varied avoidable crises and violence in Japan as we speak. And it is not too late yet. A lot of things has happened or have happened, but these things can be turned around. Mazin Ramikad must listen to advice. Let him not think that he's going to win this because he's going on the wrong path, I must say. But if what he wants is to drag everybody into this avoidable crisis, then it is going to affect everyone. And the consequences of it, nobody knows how long and how enormous it will be. There is danger looming if Nigeria is imploding. If there are crises in different parts of Nigeria, the Afghan must be insulated from it. Every effort by every genuine Biafran should be to protect the land of Biafra. So far, the campaign for protection of Biafra land has been to the detriment of Biafrans. It is not to their own benefit. And so we really are sad that if protection for Biafra land means destruction of lives and properties, destruction of lives of Biafrans, if it means violence in Biafra land, if it means turning Biafra land into a battleground, if it means turning Biafra land into a failed region, in that particular part of the world, then let that protection not be for us. We must continue to speak and we must continue to stand for what we believe in. Therefore, the fact that customary government has come to stay and we enjoin everyone to stand and support that. And our uh, primary platform remains Biafra Nation. We enjoin every member of the Afra nation to remain steadfast. And let me say this for, for once. There is an orchestrated campaign by IPOB led by Mazen Nam de Kanu to for people to abandon the Afra nation. Don't go to them. Every time they are broadcasting, keep complaining, keep writing all manner of rubbish, keep castigating them. And if we can sustain this over months, we will overwhelm them. And I am telling them that you are all hallucinating. All of you are hallucinating. You are in dreamland. You people should run away from me and not myself doing so, because you are evil. That is the truth about it. We came out, we gave everything to support Mazin Namdekan. We held the ladder for him. He climbed. And when he got there, he felt that he can kick the ladder away and begin to, with impunity, lie and blackmail everyone into submission. Has he not occurred to you that in, a, in an enclave where only one person is the all knowing that something is wrong, something is definitely wrong with that you will be led by Amazon Nam the Kano? Because all genuine men and women have left. 
And so let Mazin and the Canon not think that he is the all knowing. Something is definitely wrong. And he has to raise I mean, so if he doesn't, he will of course see the consequences of uh, arrogance, the consequences of acting with impunity. And which is that those you think that you can trample upon, those you think that you have destroyed, are after all still working point until we are lowered or breathe our, la our last, there's no going back. I enjoin every right thinking men and women, men and women of conscience to stand for justice, to stand for what is right. Our values are being turned upside down and we're not going to allow that because if our fathers, if our forefathers, if our progenitors did not do and um, uh, uh, did not work as seriously hard to provide a very solid foundation upon which we are standing today, then we wouldn't have anything to be talking about. Therefore, there is enormous responsibilities on our shoulders. The situation where perpetrators of evil are being held and celebrated in society, whereby they are victims, on the other hand, are being trampled upon and called the perpetrators themselves. Then something is wrong in that society. We are not going to allow their father to turn into that ugly and monstrous society. Something is wrong somewhere, and everyone must stand up and stand by the truth and defend it at all costs. We repeat that Biafra is our heritage. It remains our work, and upon that work, we continue to renew our allegiance and pay tribute to our fallen heroes. May the souls of our gallant and ruins who are paid the ultimate price continue to rest in the of the Most High God. But may they never rest where their murderers are. Biafra will be restored at the appropriate time, but it must be based on the truth, the principle of truth and equity, not on lies and deception and blackmail. The more we lie, the more we deceive ourselves, the more Biafra restoration is prolonged. And it is better that we get it right than hurriedly going into something we don't know. God willing, the effort will be restored as soon as divine providence permits, where we must all do the right thing. Now is the time for us to continue to move forward, irrespective of whatever people are saying. In the end, everybody will be responsible for he or he, he or she has done, including myself. I want to commend you for your effort, for your resilience, for your commitment to this cause. Remain focused and never you will be daunted. The same goes to the family members of this great family of your friends. We urge them to remain focused, never to be discouraged by avarice of devilish campaign of calumny being propagated with people's money, I must say, because that money is not being put into good use. That evil will not last forever. And there is no way the kingdom of darkness will prevail over the kingdom of light. Thank you once more and God bless you. Remain switch on the floor. Good night from here. Thank you very much, and I truly appreciate your joining me this evening. Good night. And of course, that is the voice of Diopa Uchu Kafomefo, the man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And now, let me tell you, 
We were here at the beginning. We will be here when it ends. And for those of you who think you will make merchandise a heart of us, just, this is just your beginning. And, and then they say, don't worry, they will fizzle out. Onye, onye fizzle out. Onye. Onye fizzle out. And you can join on domain with the moon. When you go on the moon, you can join on the moon. And you can join on the moon. The next generation cannot be mortgaged. It cannot be sold. It is as simple as ABCD. We are warning our people. Dear friends, this rain will fall. It will beat all of us. And now you are jumping. Hey, Ananga man, Ananga man. Biafra Haram is coming for all of you. And don't misquote me. I advise you. Oh, we the Nigerian, we we did no, you cannot pay Boko Haram money. Fulani X men miati yala. Pay none the canoe money to stop intimidating Igbo people. Give all of you canoes in Biafra and give money to none the canoe. Let it stop intimidating Igbo people. All of us will open company and we will respond to all of you. Our request is simple. Let there be constitutional amendment. Let there be restructure. Let there be referendum. Let the people have a seat. But aside that, they jumping up and down. We will teach them. Bring an army. Bring soldier. Bring police. We are not the one threatening you. The system itself is revolting against itself. You can't control it any moment from now. Even in Nandekano, will not have a home to enter here in Biafra land. We promise him. All of you, start this thing. We put our blood in this thing. Uh, uh, we put our blood now. Mm? We put our blood in this thing. We are not naive, neither are we ignorant. We are taking proper documentation of all of you. If Idoma from Benue to River, Cross River State are not making effort to save themselves. If Ugoja are not making effort to save themselves. If Anyoma people cannot see what is coming. If Igbo people think this is a Osho Bay. Oh, you, 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 Nigeria should tread with caution. Things are going to happen. Things will happen. Those who want to sell gun are out there already waiting for gun to be sold. Hey, to some of you, don't worry, we will cross them, we will deal with them. Are you there? Call on the line. Call yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Adoma, Adoma. Are you a janja weed or sabotoa? <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> Ijo kwa. Since you are both of them, Ijo kwa. Go ahead, please, my sister. They look at them deceiving themselves. We shall see how it ends. I really just want to thank you this uh, evening. But before doing that, I will not forget to greet our Ebu and the name of Sultan. Up there, and not forget to greet uh, our daddy, the Lord, Bido Bini, our director, which is for the gentle lion, most is you, Dr. Kado, Asari, Chris, and uh, the young worker. I greet all of them. I say good morning, good afternoon, and good night. To all the good conscious and good will people of the African nation, depending on your time zone. Really, I don't have much to say this night. My heart is crazy. I just want to greet you and thank you for the good work you are doing. I'm seeing beautiful uh, and work, and uh, God is really helping us. And then uh, my heart is crazy. Because no matter what happens, it's our children that is dying. I'm not just having a happy, I've cried and cried, cried, I'm having a death in here, but I cannot hear you talking on the air. 
And if um, a little bit the chance to say thank you for the work you are doing, I will not do so. My prayer and my advice for all of us is for all of us to put our hands on deck and make things work. And then uh, we have to be humble, like as our daddy in the Lord always says, we have to be humble, truthful, and then um, respectful as well. So he always tells us that, because it's only those that are truthful. Even the scripture also said that, you know the truth and it's the truth that will set us free. Anybody that is going to eat it must go with clear hand. If you are judging somebody and that thing you are accusing somebody of and you are filled with it, there is no way you will come out of it. This God we are serving, we think that he's not seeing us. Thank God we are told that a day in the sight of God is 1,000 years, uh, uh, days in our own sight. So we may be committing one thing or the other thing that he is not looking at us. He is looking at us with just because of patience. I was so happy seeing what marvelous things you people are, what you people are doing. When I, I saw it on Facebook, I was like, wow. So all these great things are going on and we didn't even know. Thank God that we have found the right route and we followed it. Then, you know, I'm appealing to all our people, all our youth, please, everybody should get up and start reasoning the right way. We should not give these evil people from Nigeria the chance to come and start slaughtering us. Because if you commit sin, and the Bible says, we who breaks the, the hedge, starting to abide. When you break the hedge, you know, they will use the opportunity to come and wipe us out. There's never a time they liked us before. So they are looking for any slight reason they will use to come and start dealing with us. Let us try and start reasoning well. Don't let nobody please allow himself to be used. You will go and you will die and die just like that. I'm feeling how the wife of these guys that they wasted the soup. How will their family be feeling now? How will the wife be feeling and the children? And after saying all this blah, 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 blah on the day, there the person gone, and they will forget about the person. Then, how come, anyway, shall let me not go there? It's not my concern to start talking about it. I just want to greet you, my dear. My heart is heavy. If I should continue to talk and say things that I suppose not to say, just keep on keeping on according to our direction. Keep on keeping on. All of us are with you. We stand by your side. We go nowhere. We be afraid. We go nowhere. Thank you. Keep on keeping on. Thank you very much. We must come. Our people must understand. We have taken time to make the Nigerian state to understand. The Yoruba to understand. The Awusa Fulani Janjaweed to understand. Nandekano Janjaweed to understand. Because most of you don't know he's a Janjaweed. All of you Janjaweed sabotoir like me. <laughs> oh. I'm very much well assured that those of you in diaspora who are fueling this crisis now we are not going to come and those of you they ascended i know all of you i took record of all of you i have documented your matter i people say hey, go and find out how we can get judge on ebay and you think you are the one that know me i am your destiny i am your doom i will expose all of you even in here you will not have any place to enter you criminals criminals you want to destabilize everywhere. You want to collect, intimidate governors, Igbo governors to collect money. And when you are doing all this thing, your mind, we will teach them lesson. Iko son is dead. All of you go and drink beer. Give him honorable barrier. Give him honorable barrier. Drink beer. When I remember Iko son, water through me, are you? You now drink beer. Are you? Are you? Water through me, are you? All of you know where we save all of you. That thing you think you know, people know you too. Fulani has men. Come and be raping our women. The bush is open. Come all of you. She be one Nigeria. Don't worry. But then, for Biafrans who are supposed to be fighting to protect the interest of our people, they have become the menace, the, the plague that echoes as a people. We shall see how it ends.
no election in Anambra, no election. You won't know him. Where is the seal delivered and documented? All of you will give account, including me. I know where we will start all these things. And of course, like I said, we will be bringing this program to an end. Those of you playing politics, you are a governor, you are romancing in the canon, we will expose all of you. Come and get us. Those of you, 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 you are afraid, you think in the canon is coming to give you Biafra, you betray your people. Come out. You think Fulani Janja weed, according to Nanda Kanu, is our problem? Criminals everywhere. Alain Unyama took you to America, you chop money, they, they bring wash all of you, you took money. You, you wanted to shout Igbo presidency. You are a Simeon a criminal idiot. You are not launching Biafra football again. You think we are in a hurry? Why you wish? We are here. But then, those trapped in the contraction called Nigeria must understand. You must understand that if we do not do the right thing, the right thing will do us. He who do, he do he. I sign off from here. We'll continue from there tomorrow. There are security challenges and there are need for our people to wake up and get ready for what is to come. Look for Biafra Nation family close to you. Don't let anybody deceive you. We are going home. Good night and God bless you.